Hello everyone. The Public Works program has enhanced the DIR's Public Works online system. In this video overview, we'll guide you on one, the process to sign up your email for a user account, two, the process to link to a new or existing Public Works contractor registration number, and three, the process to complete your contractor registration and payment. Let's begin. We'll start by signing up an email for the new system. First, navigate to the Public Works online system by going to the URL on the screen. It is a good idea to bookmark this link. From here, click Log In at the top right hand side. Then, register new user account. Next, click as a Public Works contractor or awarding body. Complete all the required fields on the Create New User Account form. Once you have done so, a message at the top banner will state a verification link has been sent to your email. You must check your email and click on the Verify button in the email to complete your user sign up. Click the blue Verify button and return back to the PW System homepage. And now sign in with your email and password. Next, click the contractor box on the right side. To link to your old or legacy PWCR number, click yes here on this screen. Now you can search for your business in three different ways. You can search by PWCR number, CSLB number, or legal entity name. Here, we'll search by the business name, Jacoby. The system will display the search results below. Next, click Select this entity, and the business information will pop up on the right-hand side so that you can review and ensure you are selecting the right contractor. Once you are done reviewing, click Link to this account. Next, click Submit. You'll be returned to your dashboard to see your outstanding link request. The request has gone to the primary account from your business. The approver is the person that will need to check their email and approve your request to link to the business. Here is a sample of what that email will look like. The approver will need to click the link to approve you, and an email will auto-generate for the approver. They'll simply click send and the system will approve your request to link to the business. Afterwards, once you log back into the system, you can now see your dashboard displaying your username the contractor you link to, and your PWCR number. Next, let's review how to complete your PWCR registration form and pay your registration fee. To do this, click the blue Complete Registration button. Here you'll see six sections for the contractor registration form. In section two, the certification section, the first three questions are qualifying questions. If you answer yes to any of them, you are disqualified from registering and the system will prevent you from proceeding. Let's proceed with completing all six sections. For the sake of time, we'll jump ahead to section number five, the period and pavement. Here, you'll select how many years you'd like to register for, and the system will display to you the start and end date of the registration period you're paying for. The system will also break down the registration fee, any applicable penalty amounts, and provide you the grand total at the bottom of your screen. PWCR registrations do not give you a 12-month period from when you pay. They run on the fiscal year. No matter what day you register, your registration will expire June 30th of the year you are paying towards. For example, if you pay on June 1st, you do not get a registration for 12 months that would last till June 1st of the next year. Instead, your registration will actually expire 30 days from then, which would be on June 30th. However, there is an early registration and renewal period, which begins May 1st and ends on June 30th. During this time, you can select and register ahead for the following fiscal year so that you can have a full fiscal year of coverage and have your registration start July 1st instead of the date you are paying for. During the months of May and June, this section here will have a checkbox where you can select to start your registration immediately. This will start your registration the day that you pay. 
If you don't check the box, your registration will start in the near future on July 1st, which again will ensure you have an entire fiscal year of coverage. Moving along to the six step registration form, in section six of the contractor registration form, click the I certify button to proceed to payment. You will then be redirected to the Pfizer payment processing portal. This requires an entirely different login and password. You will need to sign up again by clicking the hyperlink, new user, register here. Complete all information to sign up for an email and password with Fiserv. Then log in and proceed with payment. Select your payment method, enter your credit card information and click pay now. You'll be sent to your successful transaction record afterwards. Please review the information and save it for your records. To return to your dashboard, click the DIR logo at the top left hand side. Your dashboard now successfully displays your username, the contractor you link to, your PWCR registration status, your PWCR registration number, and your paid registration start and end date. The same previous steps apply for registrations that are paying during the early registration or renewal period. Again, if you are registering any time from May 1st through June the 30th, you can elect to pay for your registration to start on the next fiscal year, starting July 1st, to ensure you receive an entire fiscal year of registration coverage. Let's take a look at what the dashboard would look like during the early registration or renewal period. The dashboard now displays the message that your registration is eligible for early renewal. You can click Complete Registration and follow the prompts again to complete the six-step registration form. Then proceed to the Pfizer Payment Portal and make your payment for your early registration or registration renewal, as was previously demonstrated for the new registration payment. You'll see the transaction page upon completion, and at the bottom, you'll now have historical registration dates. The registration status displaying as future is because the renewal or early registration will not become active until the future date of July the 1st. Next, let's review the new contractor signup. This is what you'll do if you do not have an old legacy PWCR number and you're registering your contracting business for the first time. First, you'll have to sign up your email and verify your attempt to sign up by clicking the verification link in the DIR auto-generated email as explained earlier in this video presentation. Then log in at the PW Online System homepage. Then select Contractor. Next, select No since you are registering a new contractor and you've never paid for a PWCR registration fee. Fill out all the required information on the Create a New PWCR form. And here, for the Approved Domain field, if you decide to enter your business email domain, for example, at superiorsteel.com, it will make it easier for any other users signing up with your email domain, as they will be automatically approved. Here down below in the Tax ID Number field, you cannot enter a dash between your numbers. Once you finish completing this form and click Submit, the system will log you out so that it can update your account. So please sign back in. Now you will see that your user dashboard displays your username, your new PWCR number, registration status, which is pending here since you haven't yet paid, and the Complete Registration button, where you can proceed with your registration form to pay for your PWCR number to become activated. You can follow the same steps to register and pay as previously demonstrated. Rewind back to the 3 minute and 15 second timestamp to complete those instructions. Once you finish those steps and make payment, the dashboard will change. Now you'll see that the pending registration button has been updated to DIR approved and you have completed the process of signing up your user account, creating a new PWCR which you have linked to, and finally completing your payment for your PWC registration number. This concludes a video overview of the user sign-in process, the linking to a contractor process, as well as the Public Works contractor registration sign-up and payment process. Thank you very much.